really, the sky's the limit as far as where you can go and study abroad from Co. Uh, we have students of art history who love uh, an ACM program in Florence. We've got an exchange for business students in England that is attracting students to go take uh, courses at, a, at an English university. We've got students in Asian studies and Japanese language who will go to Japan, go to Korea. We have a new exchange in China. Um, we're getting a new exchange in Thailand, and we've had a terrific Asian studies program in Thailand. Um, you know, we've got exchanges that not only accept our students as study abroad students, but bring us students. So we have lots of students on campus from Japan and from Ghana and from Germany and from France. And those exchanges allow relationships to grow over several years so that your study abroad program is not just a single semester, but it's something that's integrated throughout your whole four years of being a co. When our students come back from studying abroad, whether it's May term or whether it's a semester or a year, they do have a different sense of the world out there and they feel connected to it. They want to hang out with the international students from those countries. They want to take courses where they can deepen their knowledge and, uh, and engage, sort of keep engaging with that world that they've, that they've fallen in love with or gotten a taste of. Uh, it's a good thing and, and the payoff comes after they return.